All right, yo, I got some minor good news. It looks like I just woke up. I just woke up. I'm not gonna shower because I'm about to work on the car. That'd be idiotic. Got the freaking heater going out here. Uh, it's fucking cold. I've lived in Arizona my whole life. I'm not built for this cold shit. If I really want to get hot, I can close the garage, but I kind of need that sunlight. But, uh, so good news, minor good news. Fluid all over the floor was not transmission fluid. I think I was just being dramatic. By the time I've worked on this thing for like six hours in a day, which isn't that much time, but and it's still not running and I've ran into some sort of major problem, at least in my head. I think I've got, I'm, I'm a little bit prone to being dramatic about it. Uh, <laughs> so it's not transmission fluid, which is obviously a good thing. That would be horrible if there was like a quart of transmission fluid just on the ground. So it is brake fluid, obviously. It smells like it and it evaporated. Transmission fluid would not, or transmission oil would not evaporate. So um, we still got to deal with the clutch thing. I'm about to fuck with it right now. Everything is sealed right now. So I'm going to just fuck with the clutch a bunch. And if it's leaking, obviously we need to fix something else. If it's not, we should be good. Um, somebody on the forum said the first time, um, there's supposed to be pressure, obviously. It makes sense when you push the clutch slave on because it's supposed to be pushing on the fork. And the first time I did that, there wasn't zero pressure. This time, there wasn't a lot, but there's enough. There's maybe just like a quarter inch of pressure. So I'm pretty sure the slave is on there right. So if it's not leaking right now, I'm gonna just press the clutch a million times and see if it leaks onto the floor. If it isn't, I think we just gotta bleed it good. So hopefully my dad can help me with that. And we should be good. Literally the entire drive shaft is hooked up. Um, literally the only thing that isn't on is the exhaust from the downpipe back. And I just need to tighten the back drive shaft bolts. So let's fuck with the clutch a little bit. All right, so I was correct about the fluid coming out of the bell housing, but it's brake fluid because I blew out this clutch save slave cylinder the same as the last one so i guess it wasn't aligned i guess i just need to align it better uh, so i guess i'll just fucking try again i guess the good news is it looks like the clutch fork is lined up correctly because i started reading about it i was like i keep blowing up clutch slave cylinders and they're like oh your fork's probably misaligned you just got to pull the transmission back off <laughs> so thank god we don't have to do that um I guess I just gotta put it on better. It's fucking tough because the hose is like just long enough so you can barely slip it on the threads. But I guess once I have it on the threads, I just need to like use my fingers to make sure it's actually on the fork. So yeah, I'm gonna go to AutoZone. I'm gonna see if they let me replace or warranty this one. I feel like they're pretty loose about that kind of stuff. If not, I'll just buy another one. All right, so they did end up warranting, warran warranting? Warrant, warranty-ing <laughs> this bad boy for me, which is awesome. Saved me 40 bucks. I didn't have to go to a second place, but luckily the guy there was chill as well. I feel like if you get the wrong person, that'll just make your life hell. Make you spend 40 bucks. But we got this bad boy. I might try, I'm gonna put it down there and see if this is actually possible, because basically this is the part that attaches to the actual hose. I'm hoping that I can just put it on without attaching the hose first. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get the hose on because it's like against the freaking transmission tunnel. But at least then I'll have less resistance to make sure this thing's actually lined up. I also don't know if you're supposed to leave this rubber thing on or not. I'm going to look that up. But yeah, we're going to try it that way. We really just got to make sure this thing's lined up. I'd really prefer to not have a fourth slave cylinder. <laughs>
y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about nervous as hell. I'm gonna try and start this thing up, see if it goes into gear and stuff. The shifter clutch feels it's not going to the floor. So I don't think we we I think we actually got the clutch slave cylinder in the right spot this time. It's on there. I bled it, but it still feels like halfway good to me, but maybe that's enough to at least be able to drive it to like a shop where they can bleed it for real. Cause in the last video I was talking about some stupid shit <laughs> where I was talking about it's the lowest point in the system. So it should be easier to gravity bleed. That doesn't make any sense. It should be harder to bleed because the the bleeder is at the bottom of the system. All the air rises to the top and the bleeder also faces downwards. So that might be as good as we're able to get it. We did it for a decent amount of time. My gloves, my hand, my hands, my gloves are like soaked in brake fluid. I'm just praying to God this thing works. Everything's on except for the, I think I already said this, but the rear drive shaft bolts are kind of loose, but it should be fine. And the exhaust isn't on, so it'll probably be loud as fuck. Fingers crossed. <laughs> praying to God that this shit works. All right, here we go. I'm fucking nervous as shit, but fuck it. It's only one way to find out. Oh yeah, also the shifter feels fucking weird, but I also made it like as short as possible because you can adjust it. And I'm not sure what it was at before, but I mean, the clutch feels somewhat decent. I don't know. It's also just like, it's a different clutch and not a twin disc. So I don't know. Maybe it just eng engages that low. Yeah, the shifter feels like fucking tight as shit now, but it might just feel like that. Alright, here goes nothing. Did not sound good, bro. Fuck. What the fuck, bro? Should I just try and start it again? I'm fucking scared, bro. <laughs> fuck. The downpipe is also kind of loose, so it should be super loud. sound right bro. <laughs> fuck well shit that might be it for this old thing yeah it smells like not good <laughs> 